Hello, hello, lovely crafters. Thanks so much for joining me today. Welcome back. Uh, if you're new, welcome. <laughs> um, today, I'm um, going to show you something that I've been playing with. Um, how to stiffen your fabrics like the cheesecloth and lace and well, that's all I want to stiffen. <laughs> I, I don't have any actual fabrics uh, that I want to stiffen. Not not yet. I, I'm 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 just happy with the lace and the cheesecloth right now. But there's no reason that this wouldn't work for actual fabric too. So um I saw and I don't know who it was. I apologize. Um I've been kind of eye guzzling videos and reels, and I think someone it was a reel of somebody. Uh, just doing a flip through of their uh, journal, gorgeous journal. And when they flipped it, oh, you know, flipping through the pages, there was one page. It was slightly smaller than the paper pages. One whole like big swath of it was lace and it was stiff like paper. I was like, <gasps> that is so cool. So um, I started Googling and and searching on YouTube to see what the process is and I I didn't find any um junk journalers necessarily doing any tutorials on it. I did find tutorials, but they were all more like fabric crafters, which makes sense. Um, you know, hat makers and quilt makers and all this stuff. And honestly, um there were several different recipes of how to make this. It's, you know, basically like a, a, there were some for sprays and some uh, that you would dip in. And it, it was, there was a lot. <laughs> so um, I experimented with a few. Um, there was a just water and flour mixture that I tried first because that seemed to be pretty, pretty easy, breezy, easy. Um, and honestly, it didn't do squat. <laughs> and I I followed the recipe. It was basically half a cup water and one teaspoon flour and it 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 didn't do much at all so nix that and to be honest the other ones that um i saw all involved going to your stove and cooking corn flour or cornstarch with water and cooking that down into like a paste and I'm here to tell you right now, <laughs> if you don't already know, <laughs> I'm not a cook. My place is not in the kitchen. Um, I only cook just if I have to. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to go in the kitchen for crafting purposes if I don't have to. The only time I've done that, and I will do that, is to do coffee stain paper. I do I do enjoy that process. But um I don't want to be in the kitchen for crafting. <laughs> so I'm I'm a lazy crafter. Um, so I decided to try um, doing this with Mod Podge. And lo and behold, it works. And talk about easy. This is my cup of tea right here. So let me just show you some things that I learned. And I'm going to do some more and experiment some more um, with you on camera here. But... Um, Basically, okay, these still need to be done. So this is this is lace, nice and stiff. You can see how stiff it is, and I love it. You can fold it, right? You can fold it like this, and this one, let me show you. Um, still working on my Slay Your Own Dragons journal. It's taking me forever because I'm, I'm, I don't take time to work on it. <laughs> Imagine that. So even though this is little, I think it was, this would still be a nice little... Um, Oops, there we go. Oh, my dogs are going crazy again. Ay, ay, ay. Um, look, I mean, look, when you flip to it, I mean, you could you could add things to it, put some dangles on here. Um, I think that just, I just, just think that's cool. I think that's cool. So I played with cheesecloth as well. And um, let me see, I thought I had another one. Hmm. Maybe not, maybe not. Anyway. Um, I, and I, it works fantastic for cheesecloth too. And why would you want to stiffen your cheesecloth, you might ask? Well, you could do the same thing, which I actually plan on doing on this next batch. I've got this 
nice huge roll of beautiful green cheesecloth that is much more like a uh, easier to kind of turn into an actual page, you know, because it's flat already. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing like a, a big chunk of that so that it can actually be, you know, part of a full signature. Oh yes, that's happening. Um, and here's something I learned. Doing if you want to have like smaller little swatches like this, um, and have them have the cool organic edges like this, then I recommend when this is why I did this, cut them all up ahead of time to whatever size you want. Um, a little bit, I'm, I'm you know, I'm definitely seeing these as let me see here, like uh, like the, the back of a, of a cluster. You know, like, you know, stick that on the back of a cluster, but it'll be hard and stiff. And um, I think that I think it looks better with the the uh, edges organic like this. This is one that I um, I just did a corner of this sheet and just to see and then I cut it off and you can see it's not horrible. I mean, this would st still work on a cluster, um, but let me see. Maybe I can get one of these others. Yeah, here we go. Here's another pretty little flower. Um, you know, you could I could put it here, cover up. I just don't like that edge. Once I cut it and it was already stiff, then obviously it's a pretty, pretty stiff line. And if that's a look that you're going for, then sh shoot, you know, go for it. <laughs> um, I personally like the, the organic crinkly and I tried to kind of crinkle it up afterwards and it just, it's not, it's not giving me the look I I'm going for. So just a word to the wise. Don't do like a whole sheet and then cut cut it to the sizes that you want if you don't want a cleaner looking cut. If you want ragamuffin edges, then go ahead and cut them to the approximate size that you think you'll you'll be using and then do them that way. So, oh, and I also did this this piece of lace too. Beautiful. So let me also tell you about uh, uh, a don't a don't do. I learned my lesson the hard way. Um, these three, I did. I mean, they're stiff and they're still usable. I will use them. But let me let me make sure that you can see this. What I did is I gooped them full of Mod Podge and I left them to to you know dry here on my mat on my nonstick mat and. I don't, I'm not crazy about what happened on the back because the, the Mod Podge dried. Oh, it's not, that's no, I'm not sure you can see. Maybe not on that one. It dried, there's, there's like, um, it's like a solid sheet of Mod Podge on the back. Maybe you can see the shine. It's like, it's, it created a, like a film, like a solid film on the back. And, you know, on the back of a cluster, I think that'll work okay. Let me see. It is hard to see on camera. I'm sorry. But maybe you can see the shine. Here we go. You can kind of see it, it it's you know, especially with the lace, you don't there's no holes. It, it was just too solid. I put too much Mod Podge and I just let it sit on this very slick surface and it created a film on the back. Again, not the worst thing in the world, but not not a look that I was going for. I don't want to waste these, so I will use them somehow, <laughs> somehow, somewhere. But what I the trick I learned was, um, you know, I'm going to get all my I'm going to get everything soaked up here, um, get it on my mat. But then what I did was I moved the pieces onto a piece of paper towel and let them kind of sit lightly on that. And that seemed to work much better. I don't have any, you know, you can see it's, there's no shine, there's no film on either side. So um, that's my tip for you. Don't have it sit on a mat, a nonstick mat while it dries, stick it on here. And you'll have to peel a little bit off, you know, but it, it didn't, it's not like the um, paper towel stuck to anything. It, it wasn't a problem at all. So let me just get started a little bit. You don't need to watch me brushing all of these with Mod Podge. Um, oh, and I do plan on, I'm going to do another big, a bigger um, swath of 
is that a word swath? I keep using that. <laughs> um, uh, but the lace, it's, it's not quite the same one that I showed you, but it's uh, similar. It's actually a tiny bit bigger. Um, so I'm going to do a bigger chunk of it so it can be, you know, take, take up more of the, of the page as well. And then I'm going to do like a black lace, which is more, a little bit more delicate like this one. Um, and I think I'm going to put that in my Slay Your Own Dragons journal as well and have that be kind of a, a pretty page or something. And you know what else I was just thinking? It just came to me. If you get the right kind of um, lace, kind of like the not necessarily different scalloped edges, but if you get one that has, you know, uh, matching edges, you can use that as a belly band. That'd be so cool. That would be so cool. So anyway, that is why. Oh, yeah. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing a huge. It's nice and straight, so it'll be easy to make like a signature out of that or a, a page to put in a signature. So um, let me let me just goop a few of these up just so you can kind of see how much it takes. Um, and then I will do the rest off camera and let them dry. I dare say it took about two hours to dry the first the first round that I tried I just did him and just left it overnight and obviously the next morning it was just fine but the second batch I tried um it was about two hours when I came back and it was it was all great so uh let me sit back down here <laughs> uh, okay so I've got my little Mod Podge in my in my little jar here and just just a good old cheapy sponge uh, brush works really well. Oh, here's this one's done. Okay. So here's, here's what I did. Just kind of dip it in and I would highly recommend, you know, a nonstick surface. And it's kind of, you know, it definitely gets messy and you just want to make sure that it gets, um, on every, every little fiber. Cause you want, you don't want any soft, soft wimpy fibers in this in this instance <laughs> usually you know you want soft pretty softness but for this project you want it to be more rigid and with the cheesecloth I don't feel like I need to do both sides because it's so thin let me go ahead and get this get this back out and then you know, just kind of shape it how you how you might want it. You know, go ahead and roll up whatever edges. Kind of want maybe want this to be kind of a a cattywampus rectangle like this, like that. Okay, and then let me do another one like this. Okay, so that one kind of spread out quite a bit <laughs> while I was doing that. So it's a little bit bigger, bigger than I intended, but that's actually fine. I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a bunch of just, you know, just different sizes. I don't, I don't have any specific um, projects for these in mind yet. I'm just kind of wanting to do like just, you know, have a little stash so that I can just grab them when I, when I feel like, like I need something like this kind of want to be handy you know or have it handy so anyway that's the gist of the cheesecloth okay and let me do the black lace here as well let me go ahead and do what I was planning on for that I'm thinking thinking about that that much and this is not cut straight so let me try and of course it doesn't have to be completely straight just the perfectionist in me coming out, I guess. 
Um, it's funny because I, <laughs> in some ways I'm, I just crazy, crazy perfectionist. In other ways, I just like scruff and rough, <laughs> but sometimes I want something perfect, which is not scruff and rough. Okay. Let's see. Fold it kind of there. So it's kind of there. Am I on camera? I'm not. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to get it lined up to where I feel it would make a, a good size. And this, I guess, you know, I can always, when it's stiff, I can maybe cut it straight um, on my cutter, on my guillotine cutter, if, if, I'm, if I'm, you know, not happy with the way I cut it. But um, so, yeah, so for this, I'm just going to do one side and flip it over and do it again on the other side and then put it on some paper towel. Okay, so that is how I did the lace on the smaller version. So I'm hoping that the, the larger version will work just as well. And let me just make sure there's not too much gooping because I don't want the little holes to be covered up. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? So, and I think the uh, the paper towel will keep it from from drying with a big thick plastic film on the bottom. So here's hoping. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and goop up the rest of my cheesecloth here and the big the big sheet of cheesecloth and let it dry and I will be back as soon as that is all finished. All right, my lovelies, I am back. Um, and the lighting you may notice is a little bit different. I'm not sure if it'll be that big of a difference uh, on video or not, but evening has come. I waited a little bit longer um, than I had anticipated because, well, first of all, I got sidetracked. Um, and then also this this puppy here um, still needs a little more time to dry. You may, oops, you may or may not, you know, you can you can probably see that it's it's pretty stiff already. But there's a couple of couple of spots that are still a little bit wet. So um, I, I didn't want to wait any longer. So I just thought I'd go ahead and finish up this video. But you see, you see what I'm talking about, right? I mean, I'm going to be able to open this up like a page. It's so stinking cool. And you know what? Let me, let me grab, uh, let me grab my little, let's just, let's just see how it, how it will, you no. Know, well, this is maybe not a good example, but I wanted to see how it looks with um, like a design underneath. You can like see kind of like a little teaser of the image and oh yeah, I think that's going to be cool. That's going to be really cool in, um, in a journal. Um, like maybe one that has more of an, like an actual, oh, here we go. Here's an image. It's on the wrong side. But let's just say it's on the right side. How cool is that? Yes, that's so cool. And then you flip it open. Um, if this was on the other side of the page. Anyway, I've got more signatures I, I have to dig out to make that happen. And I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> you, you, you're picking up what I'm laying down, right? Okay, so that one needs a little more time to dry. This one... Um, is thicker and I think it's it's a little bit more it needs a little more dry time as well but you can see it's it's quite quite stable and um, rigid and again sticking that in a signature having that kind of flap open on, on both sides is going to be lovely um, the the black lace turned out well there are a few spots here where the the Mod Podge you know kind of just stayed but I'm thinking if I just poke through if that bothers me I can just poke through with my pokey tool here and just kind of you know pop pop those little areas open um so that's not that's not a big deal 
It may not even bother me. I don't know. We'll see once I get it in, in the journal. Um, and here's all the cute little cutesy patootsy little scraps. I mean, I love this. I really love this. Um, I, I am curious. I would love for you to tell me in the comments below um, what you would use this for. I mean, I'm planning on using this for clusters. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Tell me, has, has this maybe given you some ideas on some things that you want to try? I would love to hear what you what you could maybe use this with. I'm sure I'll come up with some more things, too, as I use it more and more. But right now I'm thinking clusters, cluster backings or whatever. So um, so that's that. Now I have one more thing. I'm actually pretty excited about this. One more thing came to mind as I was as I was gooping all these up. I thought, hey, ribbon. So I grabbed some um, seam binding, which I thought would be the right, um, uh, I guess, thickness or what have you, and the right, right width. And I am kind of loving these little banners. I've seen these in, in graphics, right? Um, like vintage, vintage um, ads and such. Um, but it worked really well. The, um, the ribbons or the seam binding was, was very pliable. So I just kind of folded things like, like a banner. I just kind of played with the different folds. Um, and then this one's not quite what I had in mind, but I think I can still use that for something. And the one thing I was going to do was cut uh let me cut this real quick i'm not sure these aren't the best scissors but let me see if that'll work oh yeah they'll work just fine just kind of cut the the edges so that it looks a little bit more finished i didn't i didn't get to that yet um so let me see this way do i want it this way or this way i think this way I mean, it doesn't really matter does it um this way <laughs> hang on hang on <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting all foot clumped over here okay and then this one like this and like this and voila you have like really cool vintage looking um banners Again, with a cluster, or let's see, let me see. I, I really wasn't prepared for this. Um, let me pick another pick another flower cluster here. What if, you know, you could put it like on top of something and put words? Ooh, do I have any words handy? I don't have any words handy. Oh, well, I've got numbers. Like, say, this is just flying by the seat of my pants here. But... Um, Oh, that's too big. Um, let's just say, and of course I would, I would want to ink this up, but this is kind of, this is kind of the right size. You know, you could get a, a word. I don't have my words handy, but you know, put a word or, or a um, number like this on top of something um gosh the options oh i my brain is flooding with with uh <laughs> with ideas right now and, and i don't I, I don't have anything as handy as i'd like all my little all my little scrappy things aren't handy right now um but i think you're, you're probably picking up you're picking up but i'm laying down again aren't you you're quick you're quick like that i'm trying to find uh like a tag let me find a tag or even you know what not even a tag just oh this this color looks good too you know just putting it on this, this too big for for this this purpose here but you know or even just putting it on a on a journal page because it's flat you know it's flat and make a header out of that put a word or something there. Um, I was going to say put it on a tag. You know, this one's a little bit more 
narrow. That would fit. Not there, but <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think uh, I'm going to be making more of these. I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking that idea. So anyway, this was like literally a very last minute thought. And I am really, really happy with how that turned out. It's lightweight. It's not thick. It's not going to be bulky. You can do it in any color that you have. And I'm sure this would work with sari silk too. Sari silk is a little bit wider usually, and it would be a little bit more scruffy, which, you know, how I like scruffy. I may have to try that too, but the seam binding worked really well. Um, so there, there you have it. How to stiffen your fabric and why. <laughs> and again, tell me in the comments if, um, if you have any other ideas on how to use stiffened fabric or cheesecloth or lace or ribbons, I, I think, uh, I think this could be a really neat addition to, to any kind of, any kind of paper craft. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you did and leave a comment below and let's start creating a beautiful life together. Okay. Bye.